Alrighty, let's try this again because the previous video was way too dark to see anything. Um, this will just be a little showcase of the dungeon clip that you can perform in Valheim. Um, so you basically just need any dungeon from the Black Forest. You can perform it in Troll Caves as well, but it's a little bit more difficult, and I won't showcase that one in this video. So just any burial chambers, this kind of thing. Um, let's get a torch so we can see a little bit more clearly. So any hallway with a door in it like this, where you can be pressed up against the wall opposite an open door like this. Um, so we'll just try it on this one here. I'm not sure if you can do it while holding a torch out, it might slow you down a little bit, but hopefully you can see from this fire here, that helps. And then we'll just try and line up with the handle here and hopefully this pushes us through. And you try it a few times. You can see that we're kind of getting like bumped against the wall. Kind of pushing us in, but not quite at the moment. Why is that, I wonder? Okay, so now we've clipped through. This time I went all the three, all the way through. Um, sometimes you get geometry that allows you to get on top of the dungeon, and other times you won't be so lucky. Um, Typically it's best to try and stay inside the wall, I actually got pushed too far, but luckily we have this outline here where we can stand on it. And you can build out here, so you can build the uh, cooking station like I have before, that's probably why I wasn't clipping through properly. Um, and you can use these to jump up on top of the dungeon, or if you get like a sloped wall you can also use that. Um, so now we'll just show um, just how to do a slope jump. So basically in Valheim, whenever you're running around or walking, you're always like moving at this kind of set speed, like even in the air, if you stop running, you'll slow down. Um, so to avoid that and get a good jump off here, we just use the momentum that you get from being on a slope and jumping instead of running. So basically you'll tap until you, until you start sliding and then you'll just jump and you don't press any other inputs after that. Um, and this character is low level, so it doesn't have like a hundred jump or anything like that. And we'll just try and get a decent jump off here. Might fail it, but let's put a fire so you can once again see what I'm talking about. Okay. You can also do this with like a knife jump or in multiplayer you can maybe use a harpoon or um, have someone kick or parry to knock you off with a bit more momentum. Okay, because so that was a pretty decent jump. And so we'll conserve that momentum. As you can see in the map, we are moving fairly decently over what would be a mountain underneath us. Um, and basically, to avoid fall damage, you can perform a disconnect just before you hit the ground, or if you have over 100 health, it doesn't matter, you can just take the damage. So we have over 100, so that's alright. And as you can see, we've formed another clip landing on this little uh, rock here, because they were moving so fast we just went straight through it and then hit the terrain underneath it. Um, so as you can see the dungeon clip does have a fair bit of use. We got fairly high up a mountain and this isn't even like an overly steep one either. Um, but hopefully that just showcases how it could be used. And you could also use it to cross a uh, small ocean, something like that, because you will keep your full stamina until you hit the water. You also can serve a little bit more speed as well, depending on um, like how shallow the water is and stuff like that. You can even like kind of bounce off a slope in the water sometimes if you're lucky. Alright, so I hope that showcases it a little more clearly and that you can actually see this time. Um, I'm still kind of looking for better ways to build up momentum from the top of the dungeon because that would help a lot in just how far we're able to travel. So we went pretty much from probably like around there to down here. And that was just with a slope jump at level 1 jump or whatever on. So we're on jump 8, so not the worst, but it can be a lot better obviously. And the knife jump can help a little bit with um, how far you go as well. I think the kick might even be further than this, and the harpoon launch should be a lot further depending on how it's performed. As if it's still possible in this patch, I'm not 
quite sure if it is. Anyway, if anyone figures out any other ways to build up momentum, anything like that, please let us know on the Discord, because that would help out a lot with our current glitched running methods. And uh, thanks for tuning in.